from probability theory 1 course we already know the definition of cdf or the cumulative distribution function of a random variable suppose that x is a random variable then by its cdf or cumulative distribution function we mean a function from r to 0 1 such that for all x in r fx gives the probability that our random variable is less than or equal to x this function f may be continuous or discontinuous. If it is continuous, then we say that x is a continuous random variable. This is actually the definition, so I might as well put if and only if. If this holds, in that case, we have another equivalent condition, probability x taking any given value little x is equal to 0. We have already learned these two concepts in probability 1 course. Now we are going to learn about a special type of continuous random variable. A random variable x is said to have probability density function f sometimes abbreviated to PDF or just the word density. A random variable X has density F if F is a function defined over R taking non-negative values such that whenever you take two real numbers AB, A less than or equal to B, probability that A lies in the closed interval A to B equals the integral from a to b of the function fx dx. I am not claiming that every random variable has such a function. But there are some random variables for which you can find such a function and that is the class of random variables that we are going to discuss now. Pictorially, you can think of the function in terms of its graph, it does not have to be continuous like this, it is just one example. And if someone gives you two points A and B, then the probability that X lies between them is this integral, which is nothing but the area between those two lines under the curve. So this function gives you probabilities for all intervals. Certain properties of the function f are immediately obvious or I should say properties of the random variable x are immediately obvious. First of all, if I put b equal to a which is allowed, I will get x equal to a here. And that will be this which you immediately understand is equal to 0. So we get our property number 1, for all a in R, x taking the value a is equal to 0. Now let's look at this once again. I know that x taking the value a equal to 0, so even if I make this a strict inequality, the only case that I am dropping is x equal to a and that anyway has probability 0, so the right hand side actually remains the same. So this gives you both for strict inequality here as well as for mixed inequality. Same argument holds even for this end and you can mix and match even for this thing. So this gives you the probability that x lies in the interval a to b whether the interval is open, closed or semi-open. This is our property number 2. Okay, now if I let this b go towards infinity, then our, our event that x lies in a to b, that also increases and by continuity of probability, I can say that if I make this go all the way to infinity, basically this condition, 
Well, ideally you do not need to write this condition because x being a real valued random variable must be less than infinity is actually this improper integral from a to infinity fx dx. Similarly, you can let this end go towards minus infinity and you can put minus infinity over here. So we get probability x greater than or equal to a is the integral from a to infinity. And since we have this condition, I can drop the equality without changing the probability. I can do the same thing with the reverse inequality. And here also, I can drop the equality. I can do both the two things together and get x lying from minus infinity to plus infinity is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x being a real valued random variable, this is a sure event, it has to hold, so this must be equal to 1. In other words, the total area under the curve fx must be equal to 1. Now here is a problem for you to solve. For some constant c, a random variable x has density given by this formula. C is not given to you, you have to work out the value of C and then you have to find out this quantity x greater than x as a function of little x where x lies in the open interval 0 to 1. 